All right, Shalom. First off, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushah, by Hashem Rakaq with us. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing game, and pushing the work in truth and the sincerity. I want to go in this lesson that afflictions and mourning are a uh, rite of passage, okay? So when you're going through the word rite of passage, okay, it means a ritual event or experience that marks or, or constitutes a major milestone or change in a person's life, okay? And coming into the faith, okay, those of us that are in the faith, you know, that's what the Lord wants us to be in. You know, he wants us to go through these experiences, you know, in order to pretty much change, you know, our our life and how we look at, you know, and view, you know, things towards the Lord. Okay. So um James four and let me start at six. Okay. It says, but he gives more grace, okay, wherefore he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. It says, submit yourselves, therefore, to Yahweh, by Sim Yahweh It says, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you, okay? So, like, for example... We're in a situation of the coronavirus, you know, uh, the seeds, okay, a national shutdown, okay, and whether the economy bounces back or not, you know, this is, this is just an example of something that we have to go through because we know that, um, you know, some, some of us will have to you know, die for the faith, you know, uh, we have to not worry about um, what we're going to eat, you know, uh, what we're going to wear, you know, a lot of things, you know, at the end of the day, all that matters is that we're going to have to have, have that faith in the Lord, okay, and, um, you know, trust in the Lord, you know, the scriptures say that the Lord's name is a you know, a strong tower, okay, and the righteous running, running into it, the name of the Lord, okay, which his name is Yahweh and, and Yahweh Shah, okay. So when you go into it, you know, our people, you know, we're in a state of mourning right now, okay, what's the word mourn means to feel or express sorrow, grief, regret, bemoan, long after be anxious about be careful okay it says uh to remember sorrowfully um to mourn to pine away <laughs> that's a good one uh to remember okay it says to die or wither okay and um it says cleanse your hands ye sinners and purify your hearts okay what your heart is your mind, okay, in uh, Hebrew is la'ab, okay, it says you double-minded, it says be afflicted and mourn, okay, so be affliction and mourning, you know, are what you will have to go through, okay, the scriptures say that the Lord scourgeth every son that who, who he receive, okay, if you don't receive that chastening from the lord then you know you're you're not the lord really not dealing with you okay and it's only natural you know that we will want to escape <laughs> uh the ass whippings that the lord you know gives us you know but um, it's necessary, okay, for a reason, okay, Hebrews 12 and uh, 5, because a person may say, you know, why must we, you know, suffer afflictions, you know, 
I thought that God was <laughs> all love, you know, and you would be sadly mistaken. Now, you got also people who say, well, that's the God of the Old Testament, you know, but this is what the scriptures say, Hebrews 12 and 5. And you have forgotten the exhortation which speaks unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. It says, for whom the Lord loves, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receives. Okay. So you come into this truth, you're going to catch out. Being in this truth, you gotta understand. You gonna catch up. It ain't just when you when you first start. It's all the way from from here until the end, man. Okay, of this society. Okay, um, as it is written that the, the righteous have scarcely make it. You know, right before those missiles are are you know gonna you know land. You know the the elect is gonna get beamed up out of here, man. You know, so. And, and, and when the elected beamed up out of here, that's going to be a beautiful feeling, you know, of, of escaping death, man, you know? So it says, if you endure chastening, it says, yeah, how about some of side deals with you as with sons? For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So you gonna catch hell in this truth, in this faith, one way or another. Okay? And when you catch that hell, okay, when you endure it, when you go through those chastening, okay, let me get the word chastening, okay. Strong's G thirty eight oh nine. Paidaya. Paidaya. It says the whole training and education of children, which relates to the cultivation of minds of mind and morals and employs for this purpose. Now commands and admonitions. Now reproof and punishment. OK, correction. OK, it says it also includes the training and care of the body. Okay, whatever an adults also cultivates the soul by correcting mistakes and curbing passions. It says instruction which aims at increasing virtue, morals, chastisement, chastening of the evils with which God visits men for their amendment. Okay. It also says nurture. Okay. So. When when the Lord, you know, beats us or, or does something to, to, to get a lesson into us, you know, it's to make us better, okay? It's to make us a better person, okay? It says, uh, but if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are you bastards and not sons. Furthermore... We have had fathers of our flesh, which you, we supposed to have a father, you know, to when we go off to beat us, you know, to, to correct us. OK, never really had anybody else. You know, if you don't have a father, you know, who, who, who going to correct you? You know, you'll buck up against your stepfather, you know. But when it comes down to your real father, you know. You, especially if you're a spiritual man, you're supposed to you're supposed to uh, take that correction, man. You know, and and it says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. So we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits and live. Okay. So, that's that's a part of what we must go through. You know, we must be in subjection unto the Lord. It says, for they verily for a few days chastened, chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit that we might be partakers of his holiness. Okay. 
Um, now, no chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. Okay? Let me get this word grievous. Okay, which it goes back to grief. Which means sorrow, pain, grief, annoyance, affliction of persons mourning. Okay? Yahweh Shah was a man that was acquainted with grief. Okay? In this truth, okay, in this faith, you're going to be a man that's acquainted with, with grief. Okay? All the time. Mother is your A. We get that, man. Luke 14 and uh, 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and his mother and mother and wife. And, and why why do I say hate your father? OK, you know, sometimes, you know, your father might not even be there, man. Do that mean that you don't honor them? You know, no, you wish that, you know, things were better, that your father would be there. You know, in, 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 in guiding you and all that stuff. But hey, even if the fathers was there nowadays, man, they don't they don't, you know, know uh, how to guide anything, man. You know, it says and mother, okay, and wife, you know, and, and <laughs> we know what the scriptures say about women. You know, they, they go off. Um the Lord you know, could could give you these women and up, you know, that the one your woman could be a, a good woman. You know? Could be a good woman, but then next thing you know, you you be annoyed by her. You know? Cause that's a part of the, the grief that you have to go through in this faith. You know? Now do that mean that uh just cause you're annoyed that you treat her like shit? No. You know, we're still in a, a state of mourning, but we still have to have that understanding that, hey, the women are going to go off. Hey, we're going to go off, you know. Sometimes the cert certain things happen, man, to where we, you know, are put in situations for, for us to be better. Okay, it says, and children and brethren and sisters. So we're supposed to hate all these things, right? It says, yeah, and his own life. He cannot be my disciple, okay? So when we, you know, go through this, like the coronavirus, for example, and the, the shutdown, you know, if you really are serious about this thing, man, you know, you in that state of uh, mourning, you you ready to, to get through this stuff, man, because you know what um, was about to go down, you know? You know that, <laughs> things going to get hard for you and you got to realize that it says and whosoever do, does not bear his cross and come after me he cannot be my disciple okay and also the scriptures say that we supposed to bear one another's burdens you know we, that, that's a part of being in this faith man if a, if a brother is going through something and he's, he's in a state of mourning which we all are we supposed to help out each other man you know be there for one another, okay? And that brother, he needs to know that he's going through that stuff because that's a part of being in his faith, man, okay? That's a part of you. You you got to go through this hell, man, in order to, to get it, man, you know, in order to have those morals towards the Lord. If you don't, if you don't get that, man, then you're not really in the faith, man, you know, because we hoping that the Lord has mercy on us, you know? We we know, hey, well, if we lose something in this world, the Lord is the one who gave it to us in the first place, you know? So when we get that chastisement, okay, and we're annoyed with the world, you know, and you got a brother there that's trying to help you out, you know, to try to make, you know, things better for you, you know? That's, that's hey, charity, could the scriptures say charity covers a multitude of sins, you know? So that's important. Okay, so it says, um, back in Hebrews 12 and 11, now no chastening, chastening for the present seems to be joyous, but grievous. 
Nevertheless, afterward, it yields the peaceable fruit of righteousness, which is the state or the mindset that the Lord wants you to be in. Okay, that's what righteousness is. Unto them which are exercised by, thereby. Okay. Like when we do videos, you know, that's a form of uh, righteousness because we're trying to tell brothers and Jake, you know, hey, this is what the scriptures say. You know, uh, we, we must do these things, you know. We must take the time out of our day to, to you know, uh, put out that, that vibration, that good, that vibration of, you know, with edification, you know, which everything we, we must, you know, do for edification, but we uh, must put forth, you know, these videos, man, to, you know, reach the elect, you know, and, and just what happened that this is one of those videos, you know, that, you know, is, is needed. Because this is this is what um, what we have to go through, you know, in this faith, you know, to make us better. Ecclesiastes seven and two, it is better to go into the house of mourning than go to the house of feasting. Okay, we're not in the in the time of you know having Israelite parties and stuff like that, you know, for Passovers and stuff like that, you know. This is a a, a, a mindset of you know being you know serious we got to go through this hell this is not the kingdom of heaven you know uh on this earth right now you know it start yet yeah, the kingdom of heaven starts with this knowledge that's the only reason why we are even able to have you know smiles on our face right now you know and you know sometimes we uh try to do stuff to get our mind off of the afflictions that we're going through as a people. You know, we go through a lot of different things as a people, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, personally, I should say, whether it's your body, whether it's your um, um, financial, you know, whatever, you know, and then, and then uh, to have the society to, to, come crashing down on you or, you know, your family and friends, you know, talking shit about you, all that type of stuff, man, you know, living in a, 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 a messed up world, you know, it makes you to have a, a, a crazy mindset if you, if you uh, succumb to, to those um, things that are around you, you know. Because when you get afflicted, man, you hey, those afflictions can also, you know, you can get used to those afflictions and it can make you to the point where you end up bucking up or or being more demonic, man. You know? And that's that's what a lot of people they they like like a homeless person, they they end up getting used to it. They get they get to the point they don't have no problem with begging, you know, people. Um, they don't have a problem with, uh, um, you know, going into the trash to get food, you know, because when they got afflicted, you know, they, they then, you know, and, and that's scary too, man, to not have the Lord there in, in the midst of your afflictions. The thing, the thing for us, we have the Lord there, even though we're being afflicted to be able to comfort us, you know, and he's doing it to make us better. OK, because the Lord could easily bug us out, man, even though we getting afflicted and we going through all these things to actually, you know, why the heck the Lord doing that to me? You know, fuck this faith, you know. And the next thing you know, you end up getting destroyed or bugged out in a, in a very, very bad way. That's why, you know, sometimes if you end up getting suspended or if you end up um, um, going through something personally, in your life, it's best to, you know, continue to pray, you know, on to the Lord, man. You know, that he don't take that Holy Spirit away from you. Okay? And, then, and you never, you really don't ever hear of somebody just, you know, uh, having the Holy Spirit taken away from them. And, um, you know, they were uh, happy about it, I should say. And what, what I mean by that, you always you always see people who 
have their spirits taken away from them because they, um, you know, they, they, they feel as though that this truth is a burden onto them, you know? So when they come into this, this faith, you know, oh man, I got to do videos. Oh man, I got to go out to camp, you know? That mindset messes them up, you know? Because they, they don't want to present their body as a living sacrifice or, you know, do the right thing that the Lord requires for, for us to do. You know? That's where they, you know, end up smoking or, you know, doing some some wicked stuff, man. You know? It says, then to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all man, and the living will lead to his heart. Okay? If we was partying and all that stuff and that was the, you know, standards for, for Jake, you know, when you come in, hey, you got to party it up and all that stuff or you ain't you ain't living right, man. A lot of Jake would, would be in this thing, man, you know, because they trying to get away from those afflictions, you know. But when we come into this thing and we say that hey, we ain't in the time of that, you know, we're in the time of getting our mindset right and getting our our, you know, faith in order so that we can serve the, the Lord the right way. Jake don't want to hear that. You know, it says sorrow is better than laughter for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. You have to be able to receive that. It says the heart of the wise is in the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. OK, so a lot of people, they just want to, you know, uh, party it up, you know, and, and you know, enjoy life. OK, we're not in that we're not in that time. OK, we will be OK once we get through all this stuff, you know, and um, we, uh, you know, if we of the elect, you know, we going we going to have fun man you know this this ain't this ain't what you call fun in this world man you know a lot of people want to escape this this you know this hell you know by you know trying to have some type of fun but this ain't this ain't fun man you know a lot of this stuff that we do is just doing stuff to pass time man this ain't no this ain't no you know okay we actually enjoying life and all that stuff you know, that's saying what this this world is. This is all bull crap. So when we going through this this uh hell, like in this siege, whether this is the the real thing or not, okay, Lord willing it is, okay, we know that when those times actually do come, that we got our mind right, that we'll be able to we we know that hey, I gotta go through this because that's what the Lord said for, for that we gotta go through in order for me to be a better man. That's what I got to go through. It's going to be a lot of people out here dying. You know, I need to be able to prepare myself to be able to see that and not be bugged out by seeing these things. Okay, I know a lot of people are going to be trying to come at me, you know, maybe even try to take my life. I got to be able to be prepared, you know, for those things that I'm about to, about to see, about to witness, even if that means I'm not going to be able to eat, you know, if, my, if I'm on a run, you know, who knows what the heck we may have to go through, you know? Somebody around us dying, you know. And we got to step up in certain areas. That's what the heck we got to go through, you know, because that's a part of the experiences that we have to be, you know, and go through in order to make us better. Okay. Another last scripture. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise, right? And a lot of when you get rebuked. A lot of people don't want to, you know, from a wise brother, okay? A lot of people don't want to hear it because you want to do things your own way. But then when you hear, hey, man, you know, hey, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't supposed to be doing that. You know, we're supposed to be in that right mindset. A lot of guys don't want to listen, you know? That's why we, you got you to gotta have those brothers that are, you know, not afraid to tell you to keep, you know, or, or keep it real with you, you know? 
And then when we get into that kingdom, man, you know, it's going to be beautiful, man. You, you know, those brothers that, that rebuke you, you know, if they dare, you know, because they got to they gotta be able to, to, to take those, you know, rebukes also, you know, be able to enjoy the kingdom, man, you know, and be able to thank those brothers also, you know, for helping us, you know, get through these times, okay? Because we all, every last one of us, man, going through something, man, you know, on, on personal levels, okay? Um, let me see. I don't think I finished that James. Um, this is the last verse. It says, James 4 and 9, it says, be afflicted and mourn and weep, okay? Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Okay? So that's pretty much, you know, the, the video, man. You know? Um, everything we do, we must say, uh, Lord willing, you know, at the end of the day, if it's the Lord's will that, you know, this happens, you know, then, then that's what it is. You know, I'm going to have to, to, to accept whatever comes from out of that, you know, if the Lord don't want me to do it, then hey, that's what it is, man. You know, because I, hey, we humbled ourselves, you know. In the, in the eyes of the Lord, man, so that, you know, we, the Lord can can trust us, you know, and, and, and also show us, you know, that godliness, man, okay? So with that, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. Uh, I want to say a uh, solo warm till next time.